Organ donations, they're hard, but in a pandemic, it's even harder. But now things are looking up for a Glastonbury man with a rare genetic disorder. News 8's Samaya Hernandez has his story. Well, this all started when a 34-year-old patient decided to just search for the donor he needed right in his own hometown in Glastonbury. I'm looking forward to going back to living a regular life again. Nick Calagaros has been worrying about his kidney for 20 years. And when he needed a donor, his family took to Glastonbury coffee shops to share his story. Then he got not one, but two matches, his cousin as well as a complete stranger. I was fortunate enough to not only do Nick's transplant after I had obtained the kidney from Tyler, but also did the donation operation for Judy and eventually sent her kidney to Arizona where it was successfully transplanted. They all gathered for the first time Tuesday over Zoom. During the pandemic, many elective surgeries were postponed, but Nick and his two donors moved forward anyway. Having never had surgery before, I didn't know what to expect and, and frankly, you know, Within a couple of days, I was up and walking around, and within a couple of weeks, I was back at work. You know, in my mind, I was going to have my family around me when we did this, and that's not how it turned out. It turned out to be just fine anyway. Doctors ended up sending Judy's kidney to a recipient in Arizona. Meanwhile, Nick is beyond grateful for the gift of life, and he's gearing up to drive for the first time this week. It's, you know, five weeks on Thursday since the surgery, and uh, things uh, couldn't, couldn't have gone smoother for me. But how I want to thank everybody for doing this to me. I mean, it's basically another lease on life for me. I'm Samaya Hernandez, News 8. And coming up at 1230, we'll have a live interview with Dr. Oscar Serrano from Hartford Hospital about the impact of COVID-19 on organ donations.